Thank you, Tyler and Josh Grodd. Thank you so much for talking to us on the heels of these better than expected results, both in the U.S. and internationally. To what do you attribute this stronger than anticipated box office? Pent up demand, people feel safe in movie theaters. What is it? Well, Julia, Tyler, thank you very much for having me. Um, you know, I think people really missed going out and having fun. Uh, you know, we've been we've been cooped up for a year. We've uh, had the benefit of some terrific streaming services and some terrific content, but people now can go outside and uh, you know they're choosing what to do to entertain themselves, and the power of movies has you know kind of once again been established, and the power of going to movies has been established through this uh, terrifically fun movie that has been released this past weekend. So I think it's really people want to have fun. Well, speaking of streaming services, this is an interesting weekend to test whether or not people would stay home and stream because your movie was also available on HBO Max for no additional fee for subscribers. Do you have any sense of how many people streamed it at home and what kind of impact that availability, availability at home might have had on the box office? No, great, great question. You know, we, we don't yet have the analytics on the impact on the box office. We know that this was the largest sign-up event uh, for HBO Max since the service launched. Uh, you know, that we're very happy for our partner Warner Brothers in the movie. Um, you know, it's really working for them. And, and but for their partnership, we would not have released this movie uh, when we did. Uh, we're happy for the ex exhibition because they had a terrific weekend as well. Um, but, you know, the, I think a lot of the a lot of the misconception may be that if you see it on HBO Max, you're not going to see it in the theaters. And I don't really think that's a one for one trade off. When you look at the, the analytics that uh, existed during COVID and even pre COVID, there's a group of people who just are not going to the movies who are going to see content online. Uh, there's a group of people who are a little hesitant to go back into the theaters. Uh, and so, you know, they're slowly going back. But then you have a group of people who are going to go see movies in the theaters and they're going to go see it again on HBO Max. And uh, I, while I don't have any numbers yet, I, uh, I suspect we're going to find that there are a lot of people who saw this in the theaters and saw it on HBO Max as well. So big picture, though, it was a really controversial move when Warner Brothers first announced this. Now we may have just seen in the results of this past weekend that the at-home release is not cannibalizing the theatrical box office, as you just mentioned. There's still a lot of questions, including what this kind of streaming plan means for your relationship with talent and how you negotiate and make decisions about what types of films you're going to make. How does this plan, at least for the next year, that Warner Brothers has to do these simultaneous releases impact your outlook on the industry? Well, look, in the short term, you know, we, we, we have another movie coming up due, which is, good, is on path to being a day and date release. And, you know, we have a great partner in Warner Brothers who recognizes the benefit they're getting from the content on HBO Max. And they're leaning in as a, as a good partner would do, uh, you know, to make this a, a mutually beneficial relationship. Um, but I think the real interesting thing is, you know, what happens to all the downstream windows? You know, we can do a lot of analytics around the value of what these movies are before they're released. And, and pre-pandemic, you know, us and the other studios were very good at predicting a future 10-year revenue stream for movies because we knew what the windows were. We knew the value of the windows. And we had a lot of data around the tie rate to theatrical performance to the value of those later windows like home entertainment and, and, uh, and pay TV. Now, you know, post pandemic, we're going to have a very different windowing system. So we're going to have the movies go into theaters for the most part for 45 days. And then when they come out of theaters, we're going to see those movies, not just in home entertainment, but we're going to see them on home entertainment. Mm -hmm. or TVs. We're also going to see them mm -hmm. on pay TV all at the same time. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.